Meet John, an outgoing and sociable individual who cherishes meaningful connections. Little did he know that a chance encounter would lead him down a path of hidden truths and self-discovery. Hey, I was thinking we'll buy 1 million shares for 3.25 apiece. I think we'll make some really good profits. Yeah, that's a lot short. Oh, oops, I'm so sorry. Are you okay? No worries, I was also distracted. Are you sure? For, if you're so worried about me, you can take my phone number and check with me later sometime today. Um, yeah, that sounds nice. Do you like coffee? Maybe we'll grab some coffee later today. Sounds amazing. Emma. Ciao. John is immediately drawn to Emma's charm and friendly demeanor. As they spend more time together, John feels a strong connection with Emma. She listens to his every word and seems genuinely interested in his life. John, you have such a fascinating life. I can't get enough of your stories. Well, it's so easy to talk to you. I feel so comfortable around you. It's like I've known you for all of my life. I know, right? I feel the same way. We're definitely soulmates. I sure hope so. Hey, do you want some water or something to drink? Maybe tea? Yeah, I would like some tea, please. Sure, I'll be right back. Unbeknownst to John, Emma's behavior takes a different turn when he is not around. Hello? Yes, it's fine. She's busy now. Dave? Yeah, it's amazing. You know, he's like a puppy. He believes my every word and that's everything I say. So adorable. Yeah. I think we can talk about it later sometime. I gotta go. Okay, bye. Sure. Thanks. I already started missing you. Oh. Unaware of Emma's hidden intentions, John continues to share his deepest thoughts and feelings with her. As time goes by, John starts picking up on subtle inconsistencies in Emma's stories and actions. So last weekend, my mother kept asking me questions about you. She wants to know everything. Maybe we should introduce you to her soon. Um, isn't it a bit too soon? I don't think so. I don't want to waste time. I think we should introduce each other to our family and uh, move in together as soon as possible. Uh. Wait, you were with your family last weekend? I thought you were out of town with your friends. Oh, I must have mixed up the dates. Nothing to worry about. Huh, okay. So what's your plan for this weekend? Are you going to spend all of your time with me? No, I have to meet with Alex. Are you sure? I miss having you all to myself. Emma, I need to have a life of my own. Ever since we started dating a month ago, I had to keep canceling all my friends and family in order to accommodate you. And in the end, you couldn't even meet me and cancel on me. Stop being so bitter. We already discussed it and you said you will never mention it again. I explained my circumstances. Emma, I care about you and I want to spend as much time with you as possible. Let's just move on from this and spend the rest of the day together. I need to have a life of my own, but I'll spend all of my next weekend together with you. Okay. I'll see if I can make some time for you next weekend then. Okay. Despite the red flags, John hesitates to question Emma, hoping it's just a simple misunderstanding. It's 
something feels off about my relationship with Emma. I don't know if I can trust her completely. I really want us to work out, but sometimes her behavior is really strange. John, don't get blinded by love. Maybe she's trying to manipulate you. Honestly, I also have this feeling. Sometimes she tries to spend the weekend with me and when I cancel and decline on her, she becomes cold and distant. It feels like she's just trying to keep me away from my friends and family and keep me all isolated. John, if you don't agree, she starts to be a cold. Yeah, she becomes cold and distant. I think she is an assist. Maybe you're right. Maybe she is a narcissist. But maybe not. Emma's so sweet and caring. She can't be a narcissist. Just give us some thoughts and observe. Yeah, I appreciate it. Alex's words plant a seed of doubt in John's mind, leading him to question the authenticity of his relationship with Emma. As John spends more time with Emma, he becomes increasingly aware of her manipulative behavior. Emma, hmm? recently we haven't been spending a lot of time together and you're taking very long to respond to me. What's going on with you? And you're so cold. You know, I was very busy with work. You know, I'm irreplaceable there. People keep asking me for help and it's so exhausting. I am too kind to reject them. Yeah. You're way too kind for your own good. And you know, I've been like very sad recently because I had a fight with Jane. We went for lunch with her and her boyfriend that he kept paying more attention to me. She got mad at me. It's not my fault that I'm more charismatic than her, you know? Sure, of course. I don't know why people always leave me. I always end up alone. You will never leave me, right, Chop? Emma, I care about you. Of course I won't leave you. John genuinely cares for Emma, but now he is starting to see Emma's narcissistic behavior. Alex, I've been paying closer attention to Emma's behaviors. I'm starting to notice more and more narcissistic tendencies. John, like what? She's always going on and on about how great she is. She's always in this center of attention. And when I don't acknowledge her, she becomes cold and distant. John, I think like those are classical sign of narcissistic personality they often use to manipulate people. Yeah, you're right. She does that a lot. I don't really know how to deal with her anymore. Yeah, John, it's understandable to feel conflicted, but you must prioritize your well-being, healthy relationship, and build a mutual respect and support, not manipulation. You know, I want to confront her, but I'm afraid she'll turn around on me. Yeah, it's important to address concern openly and honestly. If she truly cares about you, she will be willing to listen, work, and yourself. Yeah, you're right. I think I need to do that. Thanks a lot, man. Your support means a lot to me. You're welcome, man. Thank you. Alex's guidance strengthens John's resolve to confront Emma about the issues he has noticed. You okay? Emma, I've noticed some things in our relationship that doesn't feel right. I'm not sure what's going on with us. What do you mean? Everything seems fine to me. Emma, I've noticed some patterns and inconsistencies. Sometimes you tell me one thing and you tell your friend something completely different. It's starting to make me feel confused and unsure about our relationship. Oh, come on, John. You're just overthinking. It's not like I have something to hide from you. I want to believe you, Emma. I really do. But all these inconsistencies are starting to affect my trust in you and our relationship. I value open and honest relationship. So it's essential for us to be transparent to each other in order to build a healthy relationship. I cannot believe you doubt me like that. I thought we have something special. 
Emma, I care about you deeply, but I can't keep ignoring my intuition. I've been doing a lot of researches with my friends and online. I believe you're showing signs of covert narcissism. Huh? What? How can you even say that? I don't want to jump to conclusions, but I need some time to understand our dynamic better. I care about you, but I need to care about myself too. I need some time to understand what's going on and figure out how to modify this relationship for both of our own well-being. John, I've always been there for you. I thought you understood and accepted me as I am. Emma, I care about you, but I need to gain clarity and figure this thing out for the both of us. I need to take some time for myself and gain clarity. So what? You're just going to leave me now? I'm not leaving, Emma. I just need time to process everything and figure out what to do next. I care about you, but I need to care about myself too. You're making a big mistake, John. Maybe, but I need to trust my own judgment on this and follow through. Okay, I understood. Thanks for wasting my time. You'll regret this. Maybe it's for the best. As the confrontation unfolds, Emma's attempts at manipulation become evident to John. He remains firm in his direction, in his decision to focus on his well-being and untangle himself from the web of deception. With newfound clarity, John decides to distance himself from Emma and focus on rebuilding his life. He starts reconnecting with his friends and family, nurturing his passions and investing in self-care. It's not easy, but I won't let this experience define me. I deserve genuine connections and happiness. John's journey to healing and self-discovery becomes his priority, and he realizes the importance of valuing authentic relationships. John, I'm glad to see you're taking charge of your life. I'm very happy. Thanks, Alex. It hasn't been easy, but I know it's the right path to take. I'm happy for you. Thank you. As John continues to grow and learn, he becomes more vigilant about recognizing manipulation and building genuine connections. I've learned to trust my instincts and prioritize my own well-being. It's essential to surround ourselves with people who genuinely care about us. John's journey of unmasking illusions and standing up against manipulation becomes an empowering lesson for others as well. <laughs>